At Indo Defense 2014, Saab and PT Lundin are showcasing their redesigned stealth fast attack craft Trimaran and also unveiled for the first time the Bonefish USB concept. isn't fully autonomous yet. It is uh, considered a unmanned system and it uses a range of uh, command and control systems inside it which have been developed by Saab. The hull was developed by PT Lundin here in Indonesia and is a uh, obviously a wave piercing catamaran design very similar to the stealth fast attack craft that you've seen already. The program at the moment is at the point where we've developed the control system for it. Uh, that's been set up in the test beds in Australia. Uh, the prototype of the hull form has been created and that's what's here today at Indo Defence. The key features of the Bonefish are essentially a multi-mission payload bay. If you have a close look you'll be able to see that we, we have the ability to, to load a number of different modular systems in there. This is one example. We have a, a remote weapon station. In this case it's a Saab track fire system. The uh, other potential payloads are linked to the missions that you might want the platform to undertake. For example, it could be anti-submarine warfare where it deploys sonar boys. It could be search and rescue where it deploys life rafts or emergency equipment. It can be um, also um, uh, just a surveillance payload where you might include a more comprehensive electronic warfare uh, ESM type package. At the moment, the key concept of a platform like this is that um, it's relatively easy to make things. It's a lot harder to train people to operate things. So a patrol boat would typically have a crew of say 10 or 12 people. You've got to have people who know how to maintain the engines, you've got to have operators, you've got to have qualified people. With these systems you can build lots and lots and lots of them and have a smaller number of qualified people uh, rotationally maintaining them. And that gives you an enormous advantage in certain roles. One of the examples was uh, protecting an oil field. You would have half a dozen of these that would operate from one of the major oil platforms and then it would uh, come back, refuel, rearm if it needed to and send it out. And it's controlled by a data link, either satellite or HF radio communications uh, from one of the oil rigs. And the crew need never go out on the ship. Primary sensors on board, you've got a navigation radar, electro-optical payload, fixed cameras looking in all directions, uh, has a microphone so you can hear, it has a speaker system, directional speaker system so you can uh, address uh, a boat or people on the water and you can hear what they say in response. Uh, obviously has radio relay communication so you can talk as if you were in that area on the radio and it also feeds through into a command control system through to a satellite feed at the rear of the, the vessel. And that way you can maintain constant communications with the control station. The Bonefish USV has got some interesting features. It's got rubber sections around the sides, on the bow and on the stern of the vessel to make sure that when you bring it alongside for refueling and rearming that you don't damage the vessel. It's made out of a uh, foam um, carbon fibre composite material, so it's very light and very fast. It'll do 40 knots with the twin Volvo engines on the stern. And the other key feature is its endurance. It can stay at sea for about 12 hours and that gives it plenty of opportunity to get out there and, uh, and patrol an area. The vessel can do a range of missions, anti-piracy, can do uh, anti-submarine warfare, search and rescue, it can do surveillance, covert surveillance, potentially even mine warfare and some of the other applications. Saab's quite keen to work with Indonesia and particularly PT Lundin in developing this concept and taking it to the next step. We'll be testing the market particularly next year when we take it to DSCI in London and our hope is that we can uh, get some interest from a number of different areas 
and further develop the technology, perhaps even to a fully autonomous system in the next, uh, next couple of years.